going, guys? Thanks for checking out another video on my channel. We're going to start this one off a little bit different than I normally do. We're up on the highway today on the CF Moto 450 SS. This is a good test on the CF Moto 450 SS because it is really windy out today. I don't know if you can hear it in the mic. Like, I don't feel like I'm getting blown all around on the highway. I feel like it's kind of hitting me a little bit. Like, my jacket's really moving around from the wind, but the bike is staying really stable. Got construction here to go through. Oh, poor little woodchuck. That woodchuck would if a woodchuck could, if a woodchuck could chuck wood. His days of chucking wood are over. That hill ahead I used to think was a volcano when I was a kid. I just took a bug right to the base shield. Man. In Pennsylvania, you don't have to wear helmets. It's not a law to ride a motorcycle and wear a helmet. I don't understand why somebody wouldn't, though. Just for that reason right there where that bug hit me. That would have hit me right in the eye. The higher I get up here on the hill, the more breezy it gets. It's handleable. Is that a word even? But yeah, it's uh, definitely, you can feel the wind up here on the hill. I just felt my ears pop. Do you ever notice that when you get up high to a higher elevation, your ears pop? They kind of, you know, you feel that like the pressure build up and they kind of snap. It isn't like a hurtful thing or anything. Never been up to a higher elevation, you won't know what I'm talking about. So this is my second riding season with this bike, and I really haven't had any problems with it. There was one recall that they took care of right away, and it's been good. I never had any real issues with it. And uh, I put the new rear sets on, and I ended up having to re-bleed the brakes after I did that. I didn't realize that the brakes might build up some air by putting on those rear sets. So I looked at messages online. I saw that a lot of people said that's a common thing. When you do anything with your brakes, sometimes you can build up some air in the lines. So I rebled the brakes and now they're good to go. Go through this green bridge. Beautiful area, beautiful area. I want to thank you guys for allowing me to hit 4,000 plus subscribers. I really appreciate that you guys have liked my videos, you subscribe, you're leaving comments. So one thing I've always said is that if you have any suggestions or you want to hear something or see me do something different, uh, leave a comment and let me know. I mean, it is still my channel, so I kind of do it for what I want to do, but you guys are a big part of that as well. I know a lot of you guys have really liked this 450 SS bike and the mods and accessories and all the riding I've been doing with it. And it's been a big plus for the channel, so I think that's awesome. One thing I want you guys to know, though, is when it comes down to a mod or an accessory or an install, I'm not a motorcycle mechanic. I'm not an auto mechanic. I'm just a guy that likes to ride bike and I like to try to do things on my own to save a little bit of money. So sometimes I do a video on that and I might not be as thorough as maybe you want me to be or maybe there's some information that you're going through my video that maybe I didn't give. Feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to answer them. But just realize I'm like not like some certified uh, mechanic or anything. I'm just a guy that rides a bike like most of you guys. I want to take this back road because it's a pretty awesome little ride up here. I haven't taken it at all in this bike, I don't think. This is actually my favorite way to ride. It's just along these windy back roads. Moo cows on the hill. Now, where did this bring me out at? Oh, I know where I'm at. I really don't like this because you can't see what's coming over. They paved all these roads since the last time I was up here. They're pretty nice. 
I mean, they were always paved, but they were um, they were bumpy and in pretty bad shape. Well, they probably weren't always paved. At one point, they probably weren't. But since I've known these roads, they've been paved. They definitely needed a new, new surface. What have we got going on up here now? Pipeline construction for the natural gas well right there. Yep, that's a pipeline. Ooh, you don't want that thing coming down on you. Mm, now which way do I turn? I think I want to go up the hill. Yeah, I want to go up the hill. There's a bunch of cows up on the hill. See them? The stink of a farm is one thing that I don't enjoy. But I do believe in supporting American farmers. I go a little bit faster now that I know where we're at. Some of them back roads that I don't know very well, I kind of have to take it slow. Because you just stop and get gas in this. That was actually my first thing I was going to do today. It wasn't obviously out, or we wouldn't have gotten this far. But we're getting, we're getting down there. We had half a tank. Just, actually, we had under half a tank. guys that's it for this ride in this video i want to thank you guys again for 4,000 plus subscribers thanks for watching this video uh if you remember to give this one a, a like that would be great share it with your friends maybe you can get to that 5,000 mark sooner than later once i hit 5,000 subscribers somewhere around there somewhere after that i will have something in a video to reveal to you guys maybe it's a surprise maybe not all right thanks again Bye bye